It is Wednesday, my dudes. Ah! Hello, beauties, and welcome to... Oh, I just hit my hat. Welcome to Beauty by Brie. So, your girl just got back from the gym, a little red in the face, so, like, literally just walked into the door, and I decided to do, like, my first ever beach vlog because I've been to the beach yet because it's been pretty rainy here. I did not know that Tampa was a rainy city before I got here. But it like rains every day. It's like not sunny. It's like not what I thought it would be. <laughs> Ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't. And for today's vlog, like I'm not kidding you guys, like I literally duct taped my camera to my like tripod because this camera does not fit on the tripod that I have but I wanted to vlog so badly and like actually make a quality video so I literally duct taped the camera to the tripod. I'm gonna look crazy walking around but it's okay because I always do and I'm by myself so yeah I've been like really living a Trisha Paytas kind of life. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not on drugs. Like, I've been sleeping, I've been like watching YouTube videos every day. Thank you, David Dobrik, for making me laugh every day. And literally just been doing weird stuff because I have no friends <laughs> in Tampa still, yet again. Ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. So, yeah, um, me and Butters. Butters, come here. Say hi. We're gonna adventure today because she's my only friend. I'm about to change and then we are going to head to the beach. Who am I? Let's go to the beach, beach. Ninky and Judge. Alright guys, so we made it and we found a place where dogs have to be on a leash. They have an area where dogs can just run around, but look what we see here. It says dog beach that way, so that is where we are going. me <laughs> literally like me all right guys so we have finally got settled down in a great spot and it's time for the q a okay, so this is my first like real q a where i actually asked my followers on instagram and snapchat like for the past week to send me questions about anything so my girl Kaylee Miner said, why did you go to USF? So, go Bulls, woo! So I decided to go to USF because, ah, there's like a f***ing squirrel, oh my god. Oh my god, it's looking at me, oh my god! Look at it, oh my god, he's so scary. I really don't want him to like jump on my head. What the hell? Squirrel! Go away! Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna attack. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I'm so afraid. Oh my f I'm afraid of the squirrel right now. Where'd he go? Oh my god. Butters, get him! Uh, get the squirrel! She literally... I was just about to film my Q&A and literally get attacked. All right, <laughs> so let's just get to it. Okay, so she said, why did you go to USF? So honestly, I was trying to go to UK. My undergraduate was in communication, like organizational communication. Communication majors can do a lot of different jobs. My minor was gender studies and my other minor was citizenship and social justice. Like my, all of my majors, like in gender studies, like the study of masculinity and femininity and like what that means. And honestly, like a lot of people are like, what are you gonna do with that? But like, look at our culture today. Like, there's so many different like, like, political beliefs on what's right and what's wrong and gender and blah 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 having someone who's educated on it and who has spent years studying it you know that might be good for a company one day or even if I got into politics or who knows 
So I don't know if I want to be a professor or what, but I think it would be really cool. I really wanted to go to University of Kentucky because I had like one of my best friends already lives there and we were going to live together. Lexington's really close to Louisville, so I was like, this would be perfect. And then I applied, like I had one of my teachers who like went through the program, give me a letter of rec, like I thought I had it in the bag. And then like I did not get accepted. So that kind of sucked. It's honestly the week that I dyed my hair blue. So if you saw that, that was definitely like a little bit of a mental breakdown. At this point after UK didn't accept me, there's really nowhere in Kentucky that like I wanted to go because I definitely want to branch out. So I talked to one of my teachers and she suggested USF. Like a lot of research, a lot of reading. I get to learn about like women in history and like all kinds of things. So it's very broad, but my focus specifically is going to be on multi-ethnic women in America how that's changed throughout history and today. Legally, biracial marriage just was passed during Loving versus Virginia, and I think that was like 1964, I believe. Now that it's legal, like how has, you know, your multi-ethnic identity changed throughout history? Not only like black and white, but I'm talking like Indian and white, Hispanic and black, and every mix. That's kind of what I want to study, and I kind of want, I think that I could be like a top researcher on the topic. Oh, the lead researcher on multi-ethnic studies is gonna give us a little snippet and then I could like pop in and be like, hello, I'm Dr. Carter. So like that would be like the coolest thing ever. So I don't, but I honestly don't know if that's exactly what I wanna do. Part of me sometimes thinks like I should just go into event planning because it would be fun and like I love planning parties. So I, I, I really don't know, but we'll figure it out. Honestly, like my dream of all dreams is just to um, work at SNL. Okay, so that was a really long answer to why I came to USF, but basically the moral of the story is I didn't get accepted into UK and my teacher suggested this school and I looked it up online and it seemed really cool and then the more I've like looked into it and now that I'm here, like I think I'm gonna freaking love it, but I still have like 20 something more days until school starts, so we'll see, we'll see, I'll, let, I'll give you an update, but obviously I'm like wearing my swag, like I'm very proud that I've gotten into such a major research-based university, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so Kaylee also asked, how do you love yourself and be confident? Confident because girl, I need some of it. So basically, like it's hard. Like I'm not gonna like lie and be like, oh yeah, like I just wake up confident. Sometimes I have like depression tendencies, like to stay in bed all day or to not do anything or just to think that I like suck. Gosh, like I am so out of my comfort zone right now, but the point is, is that I'm doing it. So like moving to Florida, like that's not easy. That's out of my comfort zone. Like the safe thing for me would have been to live in Louisville and get a job there and just call it you know whatever and just stay there to be confident for me it's just trying new things and sometimes you are gonna fail like I applied to UK and I didn't get in but like I don't know you just have to keep on keeping on and Kaylee's last question is what are you most excited about about moving to Florida and you're so pretty and I'm so happy for you I love you Kaylee you're beautiful thank you so much and I'm happy too I'm most excited about just exploring like I have my own apartment in Tampa Florida like how many 21 year olds can say that like who are from Kentucky like that is just crazy I'm just excited about the experience I'm mostly excited to go to school like I want to meet people I think being down here like living on my own I'm really gonna be able to grow my channel so I'm excited about that too and oh yeah I forgot I hit 400 subs hey Brie how does it feel to hit 400 subscribers on YouTube Woo! Good. Thank you so much to everyone who watches me and I hope that you like the content that I'm giving. Okay, so my girl Sarah Julian asked, please talk about your workouts. I need motivation to work out. <laughs> and then she said, LOL. It's hard for me to work out. Like I've definitely hit a place where like, I feel pretty comfortable in my big body. I don't really like the way I specifically look in some of my clothes. Like I'd like to lose a little bit of a weight, a little bit of weight. Um, I have lost like 12 pounds though um, since I've been vegetarian, since I've moved down here. My workouts, what I do is I go to Planet Fitness and I try to stay there for an hour. Like I try to stay for an hour, if not more. I'll do the elliptical for 20 to 30 minutes and burn that fat burn and like kind of get the cardio up. I make sure that I hit arms on certain days. I'm really trying to get these arm muscles up. Um, obviously like my problem area is my stomach. So like I have a very like curvy body. This is my problem area. But basically you just have to, you have to just go. Like honestly days where I don't wanna go and I end up going, I feel good afterwards. And I might be miserable the entire workout, but you just have to do it. My very good friend Morgan Beam, at Morgan Beam 21 I believe, she gave me three questions. So three random facts that your subs don't know about you. 
Um, probably that I worked for Disney and <laughs> being down here is like really bringing me PTSD from this. I worked for Disney for like three weeks and then left because I got punched in the face. <laughs> That's a story time. Two would be that I did competitive dance um, almost my entire life. Like I think my first competition I was five or six. The third one, oh, that I led an acapella team to victory um, at, in high school, and that was like one of my favorite parts about high school was being on acapella team. Morgan also asked my like, dream careers before college. So I always thought like I was gonna be a dentist. For Halloween one year, I was like the tooth fairy. Like what, I literally remember like everyone was like something like super sexy and cute, like the little, the little like, eighth grade Halloween party that this girl like always used to throw. I was the tooth fairy and I had a white dress on with little plastic teeth around the rim. So, um, but then I realized that like dentistry is honestly kind of boring and it's a lot of math and I'm really bad at math. So your girl had to go the liberal arts route. What are some of your long-term goals and dreams? Like I've said, like honestly, I have a lot of ideas. Like there's, my head is literally, it like scrambles with what I want to do in life. And I'm only 21 and I know I'm young, but like you look at other people who are your age who are doing like, like already have a job or like they're doing so well. And it's like hard not to compare yourself to them. I try not to, cause like obviously I'm doing like great things too. A dream of maybe being a professor and like being a lead researcher on multi-ethnic personalities and identity, being on SNL, <laughs> being on Ellen. I'd love to be Ellen. <laughs> I'd love to be on Ellen one day. I have a dream of like going to schools and speaking to girls on confidence. I have like so many dreams, like it's crazy, but one at a time, master's degree first. That's one of my dreams. Okay, so my friend Zane, um, at Insanely Zany or something, I've, I'm probably not saying it right, but I always read it as Insanely Zany. He uh, asked me like a bunch of crazy questions. He actually asked me 10. So we're gonna do a speed, ow! Ow, I just got bit by a fire ant, oh my God. So we're gonna do a speed round of Q&A with his 10 really weird questions. One, if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? I would want to, oh my God, what would I want to do? What would I want to do? I think I'd want to fly so I could, you know, see everything, get places quicker. And I think that'd be really cool. So number two, which ice cream flavor describes you best? Um, probably cookies and cream because I'm black and white like an Oreo. What do you consider to be the best invention of all time? Um, um, what's the best invention? Oh my God, probably toilet paper or tampons. Uh, yeah, pro yeah, I don't know. Um, four, if you could be any vice president from the past, who would you want, who would you be? Vice president? Boy, like I know the vice presidents. I barely know the presidents. Um, I guess Joe Biden. This is the only one I freaking know. Five, describe yourself using three Crayola colors. Three? What? Again, how, okay, um, probably lavender, blue, and pink. Number six, which mythical beast would be your spirit animal? Mythical. Um, probably a dragon, cause like I'm like <laughs> I look pretty, but then I <gasps> then I breathe fire on your. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite brand of paper towel? I don't know. I buy the great value kind, cause I'm <laughs> poor. Um. Name your five favorite smells. That's question eight. Um, five favorite, five, again, these are a lot. Okay, five favorite smells. Um, I like Victoria's Secret perfume. I like the smell of laundry rooms. I like the smell of basements. I like the smell of gas. <laughs> and what else do I like? I guess I like the smell of like fresh pines, like fresh pine air. Nine, would you rather become a professional clogger or yodeler? Yodeler! Yay, yay, yay. And number 10, what do you think is the most underrated and the most overrated Disney film? Underrated? Um, probably Inside, is it Inside Out? The ones with like, I, I like it because Bill Hader and Mindy Kaling are like, um, voices in it. It's like the ones in the head. I think that's a really good one, but that's like Pixar Disney. And the most overrated is probably The Little Mermaid. Like I love The Little Mermaid, like don't get me wrong, but like I think everyone loves The Little Mermaid like way more than they should. Actually, most underrated is Moana because I love that girl. And some of my friends haven't even seen it yet. It's on Netflix. There is no excuse. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and remember to be you, be beautiful, beauty by Brie. Thanks guys. I'm not kidding you. I was just hula hooping. I'm dripping sweat. My hula hoop got freaking stuck. So, I'm attempting to get it down with a freaking palm tree. Oh my god.